And I'm here with the man behind the master plan of the ADC. He's behind Mr. Dr. Martin. How you doing, doctor? Um, I'm doing just fine. This year has been a very productive year here in ADC. Right. We're right here in the playoffs and everything. Tell us what's been going on all year long. Uh, we're here at uh, Grove Stadium, Spring Branch ISD. Uh, great atmosphere. The kids are playing on the field. Uh, they got this guy that's on the microphone. I don't know how to describe him <laughs> other than he is electric. Uh, he's the one bringing you me live right here via Ustream. Uh, but the kids are here. They're enjoying it. Uh, all the organizations in the HFA, Houston Football Association, are okay. here. They're representing. Um, and most importantly, the kids are having fun. And I hear, Coach, you said something very important. You said it doesn't matter about the winning or losing, even though everybody wants to win and lose. It's the development of the kids. Why is that so important? It's important because this uh, this organization, this vehicle, is really a stepping stone uh, for the children uh, as they develop through life. Uh, the friends that they meet, uh, the, the, the skills that they learn playing the game, playing this particular sport will help them and, and will do well with them in the future. Now we're going to be here for the next several weeks on up to the, the December 4th Super Bowl. What can we expect over the next several weeks to go on in the playoffs? Well, well with regard to my Dolphins family, uh, we're, we're going to play. We're going to play hard. We're going to do what we do. And uh, I'm trying to punch my ticket for December 4th. Southwest Airlines, you're going to fly into Grove Stadium. I will fly in. I might take a helicopter. I might go <laughs> get it. You know, some billion dollars. Worth. You can do it. You can do it. That's the AD of the ADC. Thank you, Dr. Martin. I'll see you later. Thank you. Coach Sims and the Dolphins just came away with a nice playoff game. Just yes, felt sir. just a little bit short, but Coach, going into next season, you got to be happy with what you got. Talk to us real quick, Coach. Man, look, I'm just proud of my kids. They play hard. You know, they come to practice every day, three right. times a week. Okay. And they give me their full effort. Right. You know, my main thing is I don't care win or lose. As long as they give 110%, and that's what my kids did. You know, this is Kaylin. Right here. Number 21. And this is Cameron. Mr. You know, Allen, how you doing, Doc? They both moving up. He's going to seventh grade for, okay. football. And okay. He's coming back. I'm watching the running back. Okay. This is my little man with the big heart. All right, all right. You know, Jalen Hill. All right, Mr. Hill. And this is uh, my coach, Dewey. All right, Coach Dewey. Yes, sir. So real quick, like you say, my man right here is going to seventh grade. So by him leaving, going to seventh grade, and he's going up and everything, what, what, what did you want to accomplish at the end of the season? You know, I just want them to realize how to be a teammate. Okay. What about team ball? You know, because us as coaches, we prepare them for middle school. Right, right. You know, and learn how to work together, you know. Be a team player. Yes, sir. Coach Drewway, I mean, season's over right now, but you you got to be happy the way your guys played. And, like, second half, they came out with a better half than they did in the first half and played ball. At the end of the day, what what do you want to accomplish? I think I think the main thing, like Coach said, is, is getting them prepared for middle school football, getting them to believe in themselves, understand that you could be down in the first half and change that thing around in the second half. I think they, they kind of understood that a little bit today. Going into to next year, what are some of the things that you and Coach are going to have getting ready for next year? The main thing we're going to try to focus is, is, is again, uh, teamwork. Okay. Which, which, which helps our blocking, which helps our running schemes. That opens up everything. Helps our defense. Yes, sir. If they believe in each other, can't nobody beat them. Young man right here, pretty good game right here, especially in the second half. You came out, you didn't give up. What did Coach tell you at halftime that inspired you in the second half? Well, he told me that you were going out there and doing your best. Right. And as I was doing that, and he let me run the ball. Every time I ran the ball, I make sure I went through the holes and ran. And you ran it in the second half. You did, you did your game. You had a pretty good game. Young man, you're going up. Going to the seventh grade. Yes, sir. So tell me, what did you learn this season from your coaching staff? I learned how to respect people, respect my teammates, and that losing, winning is not all. Uh, like not, not uh, So can you can you can you go to sleep tonight knowing that your coaches put you in the right position and and you're a better player from when you started earlier this season? Yes, sir. And coach, that has to make you happy knowing that. Oh yeah, man. I'm when it started in August, they're a better player right here in November. You know, when they when we first started off. You know, they ain't really had, like like I said, majority of my kids are brand new. Right. No their play. Okay, so, okay, all right. And, you know, we watch them growing up, because I don't have no kids out We both don't have any kids. You are Coach Duraway. Come on in the picture, Coach. So, you know, when we see our kids, you know, as they progress, let's make us proud as coaches. I almost, I almost cry, I almost shed a tear. Right, right. You, right. Know, you know, because these kids work so hard in practice. Right. You know, trying to please us. Like I said, most of our kids are single 
parents. Okay, you know, okay. So no you a father figure. Exactly. Fa- both of y'all are father even figures. Though we even though we ain't sign up, we sign up to do this for them. Right. To be a role model and guide them in the right direction so they won't fall into the streets. And a lot of people forget that even though it's not about winning or losing here, it's about getting these kids to a mature level, like you say, to play junior high ball. But a lot of people don't know that y'all out here free of charge. Y'all don't get paid for it. Y'all use your own gas. Some of y'all even go pick up kids and bring them to practice and bring them home. They don't understand the father figure role, how these kids look, look up to y'all. Coach Durey, real quick, talk about that real quick. The main thing is, is I want to give this chance to, to learn football at a level that I didn't get to learn when I was that age. Okay. Like you say, be a father figure. Show these kids by leading by example. I want to I want to show them how to conduct themselves as men at an early age, so that even though they don't have a father figure in the home, they can grow up and they can display those things because of what they see us doing and how we conduct ourselves on the field. Elaborate on that, Coach Sam. Man, man, he said he said it right. He hit the head on the nail. You know, like I said, man. You know, I'm just happy to be out here with these kids because I don't have no kids, but I feel like I gained 12 more kids. That's right. That's right. So, and when these kids like look I said, in your when lives. They grow, when they get older, I'm going to keep in touch with these kids. Okay. Just because, you know, I coach for one year, I'm not going to lose touch with these kids. They my kids until they For 80. life. And when okay. I turn to 100 and they still doing bad when they're 80, I'm going to whoop their butt. For life. For life. <laughs> yeah. Coach Best Sims, Coach Duraway, guys, thank you for coming to the show. You. you epitomize right here ADC, what coaches baby. is all about. For life. ADC, ADC for life. Club. Thanks, Docs.